So it's been a long time since the last time I made a video, but this one's for a good reason. We're here at the C.R. Smith Museum in Dallas, Texas. Uh, it's the American Airlines Museum specifically. If you haven't been here, you gotta check it out. And if you've been here before, but it's been a while, well, it's changed completely. They've updated a lot of things and there's a whole new exhibit, which I've just gotta show you. So you might have seen my video, the quirks or why I fell in love with the MD-80. Here at the American Airlines Museum, they played that video for about five years. And then they decided to renovate the museum and they cut off a front section to an MD-80 and they had me come down and record some of the features that I found on the video and a few more. And so when you go into the cockpit, you can actually get a whole tour just like I was giving it to you. Let's take a look, I haven't even seen it yet. Oh, this is cool. So they even kept, this is the actual jump seat, flight attendant jump seat. They kept everything uh, intact. Control cables are hooked up. As you can see, the yokes are going all over the place. But everything else is in here. The shades I was talking about that slide. Uh, yeah, this is great. And we'll see how it works and how they uh, put together this museum. Okay, so they let you come in here and you sit down and then you just push this lit up button here and it gives you an introduction and it goes through some of the features each time you push the button. Let's try it out. Again, I have not seen this yet, so. Ooh. Hello, I'm Captain Kent Wayne. I used to fly the MD-80 out of New York. And in fact, I flew this particular airplane from Chicago to Fort Lauderdale and then on to Dallas-Fort Worth. Today, I'd like to just point out a few of the quirks and some of the features of the MD-80. Each time you press the button on the center console, a special feature of the cockpit will be highlighted. So, push the button and we'll get started. Cool. Okay, here we go. We're gonna push the button. Let's see what the first feature is. In the event of an engine fire, the fire handles would illuminate. Oh, yeah. After pulling the fire handle, the fuel system, hydraulic system, and pneumatic system would shut off. That's cool. Okay. Let's try another one. Yeah. The primary flight display. Oh. It's right here. Gives us a digital readout of the airspeed indicator and the altimeter, along with an artificial horizon, which allowed us to fly in the clouds. Hmm, okay. Uh, try it again. The MD-80 had two radios. The oh, left down here. one was typically used to talk to air traffic control, while the right one was used to talk to American Airlines operations. That's cool. Oh, this is too much fun. <laughs> in order to see oh. how high we are, we have an altimeter which displays in feet above the ground. So you can see it lights so up if we're flying the altimeter. When we're talking about the altimeter in this it thing, it lights it up. Feet. That's kind of cool. All right, let's try one more. These are the landing light switches. Oh, right here. They would extend the landing lights out of the wingtips, which, for its primary function, lit up the runway, and secondarily, gave us a little bit of extra drag to help us slow down. That is cool. So you're definitely gonna have to come down and see the museum here uh, at Dallas-Fort Worth. Maybe if you have a layover in Dallas, just like that's what we're doing today, uh, then uh, come on in, check it out. It's worth it. So when we're not hand flying the airplane, we use the autopilot. And to control the autopilot, we use these three knobs to control speed, heading, and altitude. The MD-80 had three different fuel tanks depicted here, the left and the right main, which were in the wings, and the center tank in the fuselage. Once the aircraft was fueled, the total fuel is depicted just below that, and the gross weight showed up at the bottom, showing how much the aircraft weighed. On the front side of the throttles are the reverse thrust levers. One unique quirk to the MD-80 was, at the gate, we were allowed to lift those reverse thrust levers, which redirected the air from the engines forward, allowing us to power back from the gate without using a tug. It was a noisy and dusty process that lasted only a few years. This is the speed brake lever. By squeezing and pulling it back, we would extend some panels on top of the wing, which slowed the aircraft. Okay, so that was kind of cool. So if you're ever in Dallas, it's about a $10 Uber ride, I imagine, over here to the C.R. Smith Museum. Take a look. Check it out.